So let's let's get started because we have quite a, a lot to talk about today. So hello and welcome to what it will be our last community meeting this year. Woo! Woo! Hey. <laughs> um, we shouldn't be that happy. I mean, we're going to miss this meeting for two or three weeks. Um, but I think it's a great uh, day today to have a little retrospective on what we have achieved this uh, 2014, 2013, sorry, uh, and cheer and applaud and celebrate a great year. Um, so let's get started with the previous action items which were about the newsletter. We will have this newsletter which will available be available this week. I mean by the end of this week. Um, so wow, there was an action. congratulations to the newsletter team. <laughs> yes, it's all contributors. So they rock. Um, so but we are still looking for content. So everybody please write down what you would like to be featured in 2003 newsletter. Uh, that was an action item for last week. So if you still haven't done it, please do it today. Uh, so we have time to actually uh, build a thing um, as soon as possible. Thank you. Cool. Cool. Um, that being said, let's get started with Sumo Dev update. Dear. All right. Uh, let me tell you about what's going on in Sumo Dev Land. Um, so you probably have seen the new uh, forum UI, uh, and there were lots of questions about that. I hope I replied to most of them uh, in the forums already. If you still have questions about the new UI, uh, feel free to ask them in the, in the thread. Um, but we will also have a message going out detailing what's going on and uh, what this new change means for uh, all of our contributors. Um, new things coming up, uh, the new L10N uh, UI or specifically the new uh, readouts for that. Uh, that's something that we will be landing this week. We've been talking about that for a few weeks. We've been getting a lot of feedback and a lot of encouragement from our contributors who said they loved it and couldn't wait to actually see it in action. Um, so look out, that's happening this week. Um, and then we are doing some cleanup uh, that you can see that we that's in our 25% time because it's the last week of the year. And that's it from UX, uh, from, from Sumo Dev Lab. And UX, UX. Okay, awesome. Uh, thanks, Kadir. Uh, any questions for Kadir or related to Sumo Dev this week? If not, I just want to take a bit of time to thank everybody who's present today from our contributor group. Uh, I see Andrew and Ian. I don't see anybody on video, um, but if you are, please make yourselves known so we say hi. So thanks, guys, for, for joining us today. Um, we can move on. Uh, could you want to talk about UX for a bit? Yeah, actually, this is a request uh, and a really important one. Uh, as, as you might know, we have a tiered approach to how we want to change the forums. We did the low-hanging fruits in this corner and some really important ones at that, uh, but the big changes are all coming in the next year, uh, the way the forum actually works. Um, and to be able to do that, we need your feedback as contributors. Uh, so please go into the thread that is linked on the other path and give us feedback on how you are using the forums. What tasks are you uh, accomplishing on the forums that we haven't thought of yet? And the ones that we have thought of, you can see them in the back, uh, in, the, in the forum post, um, discussed, and it's being discussed there. So please, please take part in that discussion. Please let us know how you are using the forums. So we, that when we actually do uh, redesign all that, that we take that into consideration. Um, that's the biggest discussion that's going to happen in the next quarter as far as I can see. So yeah, please take part in that. I think that's the biggest project in 2014. Redo the whole forum, which would be awesome. Well, yeah, at, at least uh, we're thinking about, yes, exactly. It's, it's going to be a big change. Um, so you should be part of that if you are interested in, in the forum at all. So yeah, please go there and give us your feedback. Yes, thank you, Kadir. So yes, please go there and give us your feedback if you have, uh, haven't already done so. 
uh, this is quite important because it will basically define on how we are going to think about the forums in the following year and how we are going to change it so it looks better, feels nicer, feels smoother and it's easier to use. Um, so it's very important that you guys tell us what you need so that uh, we make sure that the, the new forum will be something that um, it's very easy to use uh, by you. All right, um, moving on to the round table then. I see there's a first item from SADDAV. Just to let everybody know that we have moved the mo mobile meeting. Uh, but where have we moved to my mobile meeting? Is oh, it a half an hour? Is it half an hour later? I no, I think oh, he's saying early. he changed the he changed the agenda. Oh, these are pad. Sorry, yeah. these are pad. Okay. So no no uh, no modifications to day and hour. It's the same. It's on Wednesday at seven thirty European time. Mm. Okay. Like, or okay. ten thirty Pacific. Yep. <laughs> and it's the meeting where we go to uh, dive deep into mobile. So QA often updates there. So a lot of the details that if you're really into mobile. Uh, are really interesting. Okay, awesome. All right, thanks for that. So yes, there's uh, a new Etherpad for the mobile meeting. Please join uh, the, the mobile team every Wednesday if you're interested in mobile and what uh, things are happening. Everybody will be there. Um, and yes, that's it. And also another item from Stata. I have asked Roland and Michelle to come and tell people how to get involved. Okay. So everything will be there in the mobile meeting on uh, on Wednesday, and Roland and Michelle and Hermina are there. So if you have any questions related to mobile, please join that. Okay. Uh, moving on to the Sumo newsletter, which we have already talked about. So as I said, this is very exciting. We're going to have a newsletter, the first Sumo newsletter, which should basically encompass everything that um, has happened 2013. So if there is anything that you want to see there, please, please uh, let us know so we can, we can have the content ready before the end of the year. Um, so you have the, the link there for the Etherpad where you can uh, put your feedback in. Thanks for that. And something fun to look at in your free time, Mozilla in 2013. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so I see there's a blog post about Mozilla in 2013. So if you want to, to check out what was happening, what, what has happened in 2013, please do that. Yes. And it's a very cool infographic for anyone interested. Yeah. So bookmark that and check it out for later. And Rosanna, I hope your voice comes back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rosanna is not feeling the way today. Uh, she was supposed to leave this meeting, but as you can see, yeah. she cannot really talk, so don't force her to say anything. Are you no, I mean, back in Europe, or are you in... I'm not. I'm playing today, but my voice... I'm, I, I'm starting to have my voice today. I've been... <laughs> I can't... Oh, my God. <laughs> Rosanna, I have problems with my face and you with your voice, so we can like join forces, I think. <laughs> hey, uh, get better, Rosanna. Sorry to hear that you're not feeling well. It's terrible when you're traveling as well. It's one of the worst combinations I know of. Yeah, not fun. Definitely but not the fun. good thing is that you will be uh, completely healthy by Christmas, so you, you've sort of done your part now. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just, just stop talking. Okay. <laughs> Don't say anything anymore. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You sound so creepy. <laughs> yeah. and if anybody has any other problems? So Rosanna, uh, Rosanna with her voice, Remina with her face, everybody, your arm, a leg, something, your ears, so we know. Okay, so please uh, do get better, Rosanna, soon. <laughs> we, we miss your real voice. Um, okay, moving on to Firefox desktop. Anything important that we should hear about? Um, just as a quick FYI, uh, Firefox 26 is out. We fully throttled it. And we're going to be making a decision on if we should unthrottle or release it 26.1 later this week. Um, the big issue is bug 949275, uh, which is 
with certain graphics cards on Windows, Firefox will scroll or will tear when you scroll up and down on the page. Uh, we're currently investigating that, so if anyone has any more information, uh, please let me know. Um, and also, the rest of the user advocacy team is out this week, um, so I'm the on-call person for anything until the end of the year. Go, Tyler! Awesome! Greatness. Okay. Uh, any questions for desktop? Because if not, I'll just move to Firefox OS as we speak. So, um, does the woman without a face want to talk to us <laughs> about Firefox OS? Well, um, yeah, there are no uh, no news since last week. We put there the, um, uh, the mobile meeting notes because uh, everything we wanted to update you guys it's, uh, it's in there. We are working on a couple of bugs and a couple of issues we've noticed like uh, calls get it cut like after 30 seconds and we don't know why and we uh, together with uh, Rachel and Patrick we uh, we are working on this um, besides from this the new um, the new mobile team um, report is ready and we are going to send it out uh, before uh, before vacation so hope you'll uh, you'll enjoy it and uh, yeah that's kind of it and I'm also working with Michael on uh, on new articles for Firefox OS I want to, to thank Michael for being always there and open and ready to, to write everything we I ask him, like last minute requests all the time. So thanks a lot, Michael. And that's it. Thank you. Any questions about Firefox OS? OK. Uh, then we'll move to read only Android. So uh, Roland, is there anything? Related no, to I would just like, since this is the last meeting of the year, I'd like to thank everybody who um, has helped. Every, every forum post counts. That's a positive tone, which is most of them. Every uh, Army of Awesome, Awesome tweet counts. Every translation counts. Thank you. Uh, we've had a great year. The new About homepage was launched, and we don't seem to have, in Firefox 26, and we don't seem to have much feedback uh, saying it's, Thing it's bad, uh, so that's good. And we have we're on we're on uh, Kobo. We have a partner Kobo and Gigabyte, and we are now on Intel. So it's been a great year of Firefox for Android, and we're at 4.5 stars. That's awesome. Way to go, Android. <laughs> Working on. And I don't think we'd be at 4.5 stars without the help from the community. Of course not. So, yeah. thank you, Android community, for all your great work. Okay, uh, then we'll have to move on to metrics, Kadir. So uh, the one feedback that we have for uh, metrics is also something that you can very clearly see um, if you click on the KPI dashboard, um, something that we're working on now to figure out what's, what's going on. Um, the soft rate for this year is, uh, for, for last week has been exceptionally low. Um, at about 20%. We don't know yet why, why that is. Uh, that's very highly unusual. Um, I think it's the first time this year. So we need to look into that. That is a surprise. If you have any feedback regarding that, if you have any hunch, any idea, uh, please contact uh, Madalena or me, and uh, we will look into that. Yes, please let us know if you have um any feedback on what has happened uh, last week that created this? Yes, Michael? I mean, it shouldn't have anything to do with it, but I mean, the other, the obvious thing was you changed the UI, right? But that's really just for contributors. Is there some yeah, but, part of the flow that could have changed for users? So that is a surprising part. The things that we changed, we changed them on Friday, uh, but this uh, low soft rate, it already started last week on, uh, I think, about Monday. Okay, um, yeah. So th this is unrelated to that. Looks like the tenth gotcha. is when mm -hmm. it started. Yeah. So anyway, we will look at the threads to see uh, what has happened. But any other feedback uh, will be more than welcome. Let's see if there is anything in particular that drove that. Cool. The uh, release date. Could it have just been something weird with the release that? There's problems that just can't be solved, like the tearing issue that's a bug. 
That's a very good point. Yep, that could be it. So if you could just write that down, um, Michael, in the Etherpad, and we'll look into it, sure. that would be awesome. Any ideas so we can actually check? Cool. Uh, any questions about metrics besides the, this obvious one? OK. If not, I'll move on to community. So as some of you know, but not everybody, uh, Rosanna and I attended the community building meetup in San Francisco last week. This is why we we're a bit mm -hmm. offline. Um, it was a great session. So just to let you know what these meetups are about. So it's basically uh, a time where all people in Mozilla uh, that are working with communities uh, gather together. And I'm talking about both uh, employees, contributors, anybody who is a Maldivian and wants to get involved and help with building communities. Um, so we gathered for three days in San Francisco to talk about what's next for Mozilla, how are we going to, to build the next uh, one million Mozillians that we want to get to in the next 10 years. Um, and it was a very, very intense and product productive session. Um, we have we have split in um, five working groups. Each of us, if each of these working groups uh, are dealing with a specific uh, track related to, to community building. So you have all the links there. Please check it out. Uh, you can see everything that has been discussed, um, the goals that we have for 2014. So one very cool thing was that at the end of this session we managed to have like some clear goals for 2014 for each of these tracks, uh, which is awesome because I think we'll, in 2014 will be a big, big change in Mozilla related to community building. Rosanna, yes. You want to say something? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to try. So um, yeah, absolutely. So we have five tracks. And so that everyone knows pretty much what they are, they are tools. Uh, data and systems, so uh, there's one track, there was a recognition track, an education track, a pathway track, which is tasked with how we onboard people in the community, and then events track. And I will encourage any everyone to go to Air Mozilla and watch the Brownback, um, because all the teams that were there presented at the Brownback, so you have the wiki and everything, but of course the Brownback is uh, much easier to watch, and you can have a great um, idea of what was discussed in those uh, meetings and in those working groups. And you can join the conversation and help them. Yeah. Yes. So please do watch the brown bag because every every team, every working group there has presented what they have worked on and what are the goals for next year. And also, you anybody is welcome to join. So if you are interested in any of these uh, tracks, education, recognition systems, if you want to build communities uh, or help Mozilla build better communities next year. Please do join uh, any of these working groups. Uh, there's a bunch of enthusiastic people there, both um, all Mozillians, both employees and contributors. So please do join, and uh, we'll make sure we have like the greatest, most amazing system in the whole world. Uh, and another thing that was really, really cool, um, and I'm sorry that a lot of people couldn't be part of was that we had a really cool session with uh, community builders from other organizations like the Red Cross, um, Girl Scouts, Zendesk. And it was a very, very interesting session because we were talking about uh, organizations that already have reached <laughs> the million, um, million number of volunteers. Some of them go even beyond that. So it was very interesting to see how they do it and um, like how, how they managed to get there, it's, it's impressive. So yes, uh, please watch the brand bag, please check out the, the either pad, and please let us know if you have any questions or any feedback about that. Uh, both Rosanna and I are a member of some of the tracks, so we'll be happy to help with any questions. And please get involved. Okay, moving on to knowledge base. Um, just two super quick notes. One, last week we said we were going to do a Firefox OS uh, IA this week, and we're going to hold off till January so that we don't have to have anybody rush to localize uh, new topic strings. So we'll just do that in January. 
The other thing is um, because there'll be so much stuff to localize, um, I'm trying, trying to get, um, start to work on the desktop templates uh, for Australis, which is, we think right now, version 29. So I've added support all the way up through 29 in the wiki, and uh, I'll try to make some updates for 29 in the templates. Um, that actually updates, like, doing that fixes, like, I don't know, 50 articles all by themselves, or some ridiculous amounts, nice, yay, templates. So, All right. Yeah, that's it. Great. Thank you, Michael. Any questions for Michael? Not I'll move quickly to localization. Uh, Rosanna, can you do it or should I read for you? No, 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 I, I, I can try. So I just wanted to say, <clears throat> Michael, thank you for trying to fix everything with templates. Um, because I wanted to say that uh, this year has been crazy in terms of localization. Um, I have some numbers for um, until August, pretty much, and uh, this this year we, I mean, the the, localiz the localizers had already done 20% more than the, the year before. Um, so I just want to take a moment so that we breathe that. Uh, we've been changing so many things for Firefox for desktop. We had so many articles for Firefox OS, and they changed. Um, every version comes with a lot of changes, and um, the amount of work that localizers have done this year is just outrageous. It's a lot, and we see that there's a lot more coming. And still, we managed to be at our highest localization rate. Right now, we are at 85%. I think it dropped a little bit, but you know, for a long time, it was there, so I'm going to take that last number um, and celebrate a little bit, because 85 is it's pretty impressive. Uh, with, you know, taking into account that we've changed everything. It's not that things stay there and we can just catch up. Um, but, you know, we're always trying to, you know, going behind it. So, uh, so you know, I, I just wanted to make, you know, clear that uh, it's been amazing. The launch locales for Firefox guys have done an amazing uh, work. <clears throat> I didn't have the time last week to put some slides together. Um, to make this a little bit more visual, but I promise that I will follow up with some um, and I will get some fresh metrics on the incredible amount of work that the localizers have done this year uh, to make sure that we all know uh, and we can appreciate uh, everyone. So that, that, that was what I wanted to say that just, you know, as Michael announces more work, I just wanted to say, yes, it's more work, <laughs> but we're just, we're, we're doing a fantastic, a fantastic work and I think it needs to be acknowledged. So thank you everyone and I'll come back with my natural voice uh, next year and I promise you <laughs> I'll have some uh, some more celebration slides. I just want to thank everyone. I think it's uh, fantastic what, what everyone has accomplished. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rosanna, uh, for doing such a great job on localization and thank you all the localizer for doing such a great work on localization. Uh, especially with all the crazy new stuff going on, it's been a lot of work and um, it's been a, a lot of hard work. So thank you so much for keeping up. It's not easy. Uh, so yes, big round of applause to all localizers. So 2013, yay. More exciting people, come on, come on. You're just like, oh. <laughs> that's it. There you go. Okay, because uh, then I'll move on to do a, a small retrospective for, for the forums in 2014, and I want you to be as excited as you were with localization. Um, so what happened in 2013? First of all, we moved from targeting, the, uh, from targeting 72 hours response rate to 24 hours in March. And the good news is that we have been growing ever since. So we have uh, in, in last, Last year, this this time, so last year, December, we were at 89% response rate, 24 hours, and 93% in 72 hours. And now we're at 96 in 24 hours and 100% in 72 hours. So that's a tremendous achievement. We're actually answering all the questions incoming on the support forum. So <coughs> big round of applause. Um, we are doing it in 72 hours, but we are doing it. So. I want to thank everybody for their very, very hard work uh, in 2013. Also on the for support forum, there were new products added, and more questions coming in. Um, so the, the desktop questions are getting more and more complex. It's not an easy work to do. 
uh, we have done some changes. So thanks everybody for keeping up and, and uh, staying there and answering questions as they come in. We couldn't do it without you. Uh, great work, so thanks. And <laughs> um, also this year we have added five more languages in the support forum. So it's not only English, where it's actually six languages all together. Some of the forms are small, some of the forms are not small. So, Woo! yay, welcome you guys. <laughs> that means more questions, more challenges, more stuff to come, but everybody has been doing a great job. Um, <coughs> and also the salt rate has grown. Not so much, but it has grown. So last year it was an average of 26%. This year is an average of 30%, uh, except for last week, which was not so great. But still, um, we have we're doing a better job. We have now escalation, uh, thanks to Patrick and the help desk team. We have changed the forum view. There are many new stuff coming in. Uh, so I'm very ex excited for 2014 when it comes to the forum. So once again, let's celebrate all the efforts. Uh, for supporting our 400 million users and our uh, thousands of people coming in the forums every day. So thank you so much and well done. And round of applause, everybody. Come on, come on. Yay. That. Okay. All right. That was okay. Uh, all right. I'm already over time. I shouldn't have taken that much time. So I'll move quickly to help desk. Help desk. I. Uh, Nothing really to report here. Um, we're auto escalate was turned on last week, so we're we're looking at all the the cases that came in, and our goal is to uh, get to all of them uh, to meet that seventy two hour mark. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for all the help to the uh, from the contributors answering those escalated tickets that come in. We appreciate yes. it. Yes. And thanks everybody for the feedback. I know there's still some confusion. This is new. We still have a lot of things to work on. Uh, so bear with us. But thank you for all the feedback and we will make it better. It will work. It will be smooth. No more problems. Um, okay. Moving then to contributors of the week. Um, there are a few. I'll read the ones that, that Sada uh, wrote. So first contributor of the week is Computer Wiz for adding notes to the Firefox reset and clean install um, about the issues it can cause. So thank you, Computer Wiz. Awesome job um, for adding those notes. And also, Sadav is nominating all the people who have been to the Sumo meetings throughout the year. Uh, this is the last one for 2013. Yes, that's a great nomination. So thanks everybody who had, uh, have participated to this meeting uh, in 2013. It's great to have you here. It's really heartwarming to see many people when we uh, are on this video and we're not alone. Uh, and we really, really, really like your feedback. So please, I hope you will come also in 2014. Um, and we'll be very happy to see you online. All right, Andrew also nominated a few people. He nominated Rachel for answering the escalated questions. So yay, Rachel. Uh, and Corel. Yes, Corel. Corel, the top, top, top contributor in um, the, the one who replies to most questions. So well done, Corel. Uh, you are the contributor of the week, one of them. And another nomination is from Ideato for Jefferson Share, also known as Share 2000 as one of the most dedicated Firefox contributor with wide knowledge in general. Yes, I can only agree to that. Jefferson, you're great. We love you. You have great answer. Your dedication is amazing. So thank you for doing this uh, in your spare time. I know you have a completely different job. Uh, so it's awesome to see, to see you online and helping so many people. Um, so thank you. And also thank you for all your feedback. You always have the great feedback about the forum. So thanks for that. Um, so congratulations <coughs> to all contributors of the week. Well done, everybody. Uh, I'm very happy to see so many people nominated, and I hope again that in 2014 we'll have more people nominated. So I, I would like to have a list so big that I cannot read it in one hour. Um, <laughs> More so people, please, more people. More people. So please, please do not hesitate to nominate your fellow uh, contributors. Um, 
to be contributor of the week because they fully deserve it. So thank you. Uh, that's it, I guess. Any other comments? Happiness 2013 is ending. Things will change in 2014. So just finally, again, right? Yeah. <laughs> quick announcement. So if not sure if everybody knows, uh, Mozilla is officially closing uh, on the 20th of December uh, for vacation time. So please take that time to rest. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're an employee or not. Um, all contributors have role work really, 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 really hard uh, this. This year has been a very tough, challenging year, uh, and you have helped a lot. So also, please get some sleep, <laughs> two weeks off. Uh, we won't be online for these two weeks. I mean, some people will still be there um, to answer on the forums. We'll still keep an eye on things, so we're not going away for, you know, totally. But yes, please do take that time to, to rest. And thank you, thank you for all your hard work this year. Rosanna, you're next. Yeah, um, so I wanted, exactly, I wanted to thank everyone for, for this year, not only for all the contributions on the, on the forum and on the English knowledge base, Army of Awesome, and on the um, localization. Mm, but I wanted to, to say that uh, I, I've been almost two years at Sumo now, and to me <laughs> this feels like a very, com you know, it's a completely different community. Uh, when well, I, when I attended you and that either. Yes, but but no, no, no. I mean, like we might have started, but I, yes. the, the real difference is actually the contributors that we have now, um, the spirit, the team spirit that there's out there. Everyone's putting ideas. You are starting to nominate other contributors on the Etherpad. Uh, the newsletter is just, you know, it was just one idea. Someone floated, and immediately there was a task force. Everyone's been doing a great job. Um, so I just wanted, I just wanted to acknowledge that we have a, a very, very vibrant. Uh, great community right now and that for me is the best achievement for 2012 because <clears throat> if we do all the work but we don't have fun we're going to stop doing the work at some point and that's not the the, the deal right so it's it's all about having also fun and enjoying this and, and having a great community so i just wanted to say that uh thank you everyone all the new contributors thanks to you we're getting even more awesome people that are getting very excited about being at sumo and are changing the way things work so Thanks for me. That's like the main achievement uh, for this year, for 2015. Yeah. And, and, thank, and seriously, Madalena and Rosanna, sure. you you did, you you are a big part of this. So I I love that you say this, Rosanna. This is really this is one of the big shifts that we've made. Okay. Our community is just more fun. And I, I I tend to say that you know you need to have fun at work because otherwise it's no you know it's it's such a big part of your life. And and for many people, you know, being part of the community. Uh, such as ourselves, it is it is really you know a big a big part of our lives. So we gotta have fun, and you guys really demonstrated how we can have fun and how we can incorporate fun into the community. So thank you so much for that. Let's just hope now that 2014 becomes the year of the Linux desktop. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have the Linux desktop. It's called Android. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> that would be awesome. It's but, Linux, yeah. Linux mobile desktop. Android. That makes me depressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, I also, thank you. Uh, I also want to thank everybody for, for putting up with us. Um, you know, we, we're always traveling and not always there. So thanks, everybody, for having patience um, when we we're late with our emails or anything. And anyway, I just want to specify that at the, the, the meeting last week, it was actually great to see how many people were talking about Sumo and how awesome the Sumo community is. Mm -hmm. So that was super nice to see. Uh, and uh, also getting like more people saying, yeah, I want to contribute to Sumo. I want to meet everybody and all that. So that's awesome. So we, we are really a fun, a fun community to be in. So I'm very happy to hear that. So yes, anything to add? This is the last community meeting for 2013. So you have to say it now. David. <laughs> that was the only clarification I was actually going to make. So no meeting next week and the week after that. But yes. you said it. No meeting next week and the week after that. Enjoy your vacations, those yeah. of you who actually have it. Enjoy your holidays, those of you who actually celebrate Christmas or anything else. Um, yes, Rosanna, I want to say something. I just wanted to say feel free to post any goofy uh, holiday 
or meme. vacation or end of the year memes uh, on our off topic forum. <coughs> yes, I was saying uh, we're, we won't be careful be what you ask for. Yeah. Quite off topic. We will still pick on the on the forums, so uh, do not hesitate to to post anything weird. And if you have <laughs> great eighties uh, Christmas uh, sweaters, uh, please take pictures with you on them. Ugly sweaters is uh, is apparently some sort of fad here in North America. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm actually sorry. We should have had uh, some some. Uh, some sweaters or something, but I was just off the plane a few hours ago, so I'm still, I didn't have even have time to unpack. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe you can start 2014 with the sweaters, just uh, as a reminder. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, that being said, everybody, thanks for this meeting. Uh, thanks for a great 2013, and looking forward to see you in an even greater 2014. Uh, and happy Thank holidays. you. Happy New Thank Year. You. Thank Happy you New so year. much, Happy, Happy Christmas. Happy, Happy, Christmas. Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Bye. Christmas. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <Joyeux> <laughs> <Noel>. <laughs>